This is Twit. All right, so we're here at CES 2020 at the Panasonic booth, yes. and I wanted to take a look at these beautiful cameras that's going to be great for photographers as well as filmmakers. All right. And we have this SL S1 line out here, and my man Matt is going to tell us a little bit about what's going on. All right, well, and what we have here is the S1H. S1H. So it's important to note that all of the S series are going to be great for stills and video, um, but the S1H in particular is extremely well suited for video and stills. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so for video that um, Netflix has actually uh, allowed this in their post-technology alliance, which means it's suitable for a camera production for every Netflix feature. Right. So um, the camera can do 6K video actually at up to 24 frames per second. It can do 5.9K video up to 30 frames per second. It's got all the nerdy stuff like the 10-bit 422. It's got the all eye codex. It's got all the really cool kind of high-tech stuff that different filmmakers class. need. Different uh, profiles, whether you have ProRes and yeah. Vlog. Capability. Uh, okay. But then it also has some niceties too, like this little port here we can use for time code in. So okay. if I have to sync it with several cameras, I can have it all time synced together. Oh, nice. And then the no, more, no more clappers. Yeah, we, we always still <laughs> want to use a clapper for backup, right? right? Of course. But if we look at the LCD screen, um, a lot of these mirrorless cameras only give you the flip up like this. Right, which I hate. But we give you also oh, the full articulation. Very screen, yes. And they actually work together, which means they clear the ports on the side of the camera. Now that's a nice attention to detail. So you don't have to worry about hitting your HDMI connections on the side of the camera here either. So. All right, so we have HDMI, we have audio. What yeah, else we have? In fact, you can even add an XLR attachment on the top. So uh -huh. if you have two channel audio, you can do that. Uh, for photography, it's a 24 megapixel still camera. Mm -hmm. um, we have our in body stabilizer. So the sensor is going to move right. to stabilize to itself. It floats in a magnetic field. Right. So we do a little trick with it for photography. Uh, we have a high res shot mode. It'll move the sensor eight times, okay. take eight images, stitch it all together in camera, and give you a 96 megapixel raw photo. Yeah, that seems to be the way to go nowadays. It's all the computation inside of it. Exactly. Now, with uh, the mount on this, this is using an L mount. This is a EF mount, I'm assuming L mount, right? Yeah, it's the L mount, not not EL like L mount. But right. The letter L. <laughs> so it's it is the L mount. Mm -hmm. um, we're part of an alliance with right. uh, Leica, who developed right. the mount, and Sigma. So um, the nice thing about this is that, uh, for one, all of our cameras sort of work together with our lenses. So you mount a Sigma lens to this, it's going to behave as if it was built by Panasonic. Of course. Or like it's going to behave like so it was So it doesn't Panasonic. necessarily matter third party versus your first party. Well, by 2021, we expect to have 40 lenses for the system between us, Leica, and Sigma. So if we're not the largest lens right. assortment in mirrorless, we will be the second largest in only two years. Pretty quick time. time. Yeah. Pretty quick. Yeah, so like, can, I, can I hold this and see what this feels like in the hands? Of course you can. It's, 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 I trust you're not going to drop it, but yeah. even if you do, it's built like a tank. It's built oh, like a tank. <laughs> i see you later, Coach. All right, now this is, uh, this feels pretty good. It, it's not necessarily too terribly heavy, but having large hands, I don't like something that's going to be ergonomically sound. Everything is in the right place for me. And then you give me this bonus very screen out to the side to make it a little bit easier for those low angle shots that I like to shoot. Um, I, I really, really, really like this package here. 35 millimeter sensor, right? Full it's a full frame. It's full frame. And okay. what's important to note is it can do what's called open gate, which means it literally will shoot in its 3 2 aspect ratio. Right. And then you can crop it later. Crop it later. And right. that means anamorphic lenses, which is real high end cinematography right. stuff. It has all the tools necessary for anamorphic. So I want to point something out. Yes, sir. To get uncropped open gate video in full frame mm -hmm. at the resolutions this can do. There's only two other cameras in the world that can do it. Which other cameras? Well, that'd be an Area Alexa LF. The big one, of course. That's well over $90,000. Yeah, the big one. And that'd be a Sony Venice at $45,000. Right. So for 10 times less, you're getting 90% of what those cameras could do for a filmmaker. Outstanding. Outstanding. And it, yes, takes, and it takes photos. Don't forget that either. Now, as much as I'm in, in love with this here, you have this other camcorder that you guys just put out there. So what's, what's going on with this camcorder? Well, I think the number one thing I want to make sure we are aware of for your, for your viewers out there, it's important to note, this is probably going through a little editing process. It's not live it is. streaming. Right. 
Well, this camera can actually do live streaming through Facebook Live and, oh, man. and also YouTube Live. And the nice thing is it doesn't require a gateway. Some companies require you to go to their website, set up a URL, set up an account with them, and then they'll bridge. Well, this has RMTP protocol, RTMP protocols already built in. So all I have to do is put my um, Facebook um, URL in and then my password and obviously connect it to a web, a, a, a Wi-Fi spot or a smartphone. And then one touch button, I'm on my live stream, ready to go. Now being at Twit TV, we know just a little bit about live streaming, don't we? <laughs> Probably a little bit, right? <laughs> this feels great. And this is all 4K, up 60 frames. Up to 60 frames per What's second. the bit ten rate bit, for your ten video? 10-bit ten ten internal, 400 megabit all I. Oh, right. 25 times zoom, so it covers 25 millimeters to 600 millimeter equivalency. Outstanding. XLR audio connection on the top. Plenty of ports. Even an SDI port. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. And this now, camera will be about $2,500. About $2,500 for this one. Okay. To get live streaming, SDI, 4K, 60 frames. And like a glass on it, right? Yep. F1, F1.8 at the wide angle, F4 at the telephoto, so it's a nice bright lens. Most of the cameras in this segment are maybe about F2.8. I really dig this. All right, well, Matt, thank you so much for showing us these beautiful devices. Uh, this is going to be great for content creators out there looking to step their game up in the world of photography and video, and of course, live streaming, because that's the way to go, baby. This is Ann Pruitt, Twit TV, here at CES 2020.